classification of spectrum now if you see spectrum can be classified further over here we'll see in how many types it can be classified <music> So the main types of atomic spectroscopy include atomic absorption spectroscopy known as AAS and atomic emission spectroscopy known as AES. Always remember when it comes to light, it can either be absorption or it can be emission. Light can either be absorbed or light can either be emitted. So when light is absorbed, that kind of spectroscopy is known as atomic absorption spectroscopy, AAS. When light is emitted, it is known as atomic emission spectroscopy, AES. Finally, we come to atomic fluorescence spectroscopy known as AFS. Now, this atomic fluorescence spectroscopy comes because of the phenomena or the virtue of light to be fluorescent in nature. So three types, absorption, emission, and fluorescence, which is AAS, atomic absorption spectroscopy, AES, atomic emission spectroscopy, and AFS, atomic fluorescence spectroscopy. In AAS, atoms absorb ultraviolet or visible light to transition to higher levels of energy. Always remember whenever any kind of matter comes with contact with light, that particular phenomena is known as spectroscopy. If that matter is coming in contact with light and the atoms of that matter are absorbing the light, that means absorption of light is happening. Absorption of light is nothing but absorption of energy. And whenever an atom is absorbing energy or taking in energy into themselves, that particular energy is getting imbibed into the atoms and they can actually rise at a higher level of energy of what they used to be before. That means the atoms get activated. Similarly, if there is emission of light, that means when matter comes with contact with electromagnetic waves and instead of absorbing this particular atoms of matter are just emitting out light. Emission of light is nothing but emission of energy. That means these atoms will go down in the energy level. The energy level of these atoms will become down. They will be less activated. AAS is commonly used in detection of mat metals because metals have a very good amount of energy absorption capacity. Thank you.